Thank you for having me here. So, renewable industrial gas. Last year, we were approached by a large tissue manufacturer. They wanted to become fossil free. A big challenge for them is that they use fossil LPG and combust that in order to, to dry their tissue. They asked us, could we perhaps set up a MIVA energy plant at our site producing renewable syngas from local biomass residues? Then we were approached by IKEA. They have set ambitious targets when it comes to reducing fossil emissions. And one big obstacle to do that for them is process heat. Because what they do then is that they combust fossil gases such as LPG and natural gas in order to, to create heat. And it could be to fire ceramics, melt glass, hardening uh, powder coating, but not only this and, and drying tissue. There are other uh, fields as well when it comes to process heat. And they have one thing in common, it's that they have high quality demands and they want it constant quality. And they cannot allow any impurities or odor on the product as such. So there actually are not any alternatives on the renewable side, uh, when it, especially not cost effective for fossil gases. And this then actually goes for not only for drying a tissue, firing ceramics, melting glass, uh, melting aluminium as well, drying grains, uh, producing isolation, uh, gypsum, even to roast the coffee you just had. You need some kind of heat. And did you know that 40% of the industrial emissions come from process heat? We haven't seen enough focus on that, have we? It actually a quite big market as well. 23 billion euro market. And if you only look at the, the paper industry and the, where the tissue uh, manufacturer are, it's about 3 billion euro market. At Meva Energy, we decided to help out. So we have a technology when it comes to biomass gasification that actually can meet these requirements. And it's patented using an entrained flow uh, cyclone reactor. We would supply this in pre manufactured modules. And uh, these modules uh, will be produced in, in Czech Republic, at our partner there. It can be transported on roads. It's not bigger than what you see here, three containers big. And it produces 3.5 megawatt of gas. The, the raw material we use to create this is biomass residues. Uh, it could be what is locally available. It could be sawdust like this, it could be wood fibers, rice husks, straw, or something else. Because we want to create circular uh, energy system, decentralized at the site of the, the gas consumer, without any complex or costly upgrading of the gas. By doing this, we actually enable our clients to become uh, better at uh, their, their imp and, uh, environmental performance. But as we learned yesterday, if you remember from Total, they said that no profit, no mercy. And I think that goes also for our clients. Uh, and we are able to actually reduce the cost of, of uh, their process heat. But we also give them the possibility to, to take care of the extra market value of becoming fossil free. So uh, we are a, um, a spin-off actually from uh, Luleå Technology University in um, Sweden. Uh, we were founded about 10 years ago, and we have gone through a really long technical development journey, including prototyping, pilot stage, and we have, as you see in the background here, a full-scale plant at our client PTO Energy uh, within the uh, combined heat and power field. But I would like to exclude, uh, uh, disclose to you a real breaking news that we have actually recently now signed a term sheet together with one of the biggest tissue manufacturers in the world to set up a plant at their site. Woo! 
So if you want to join us on the journey to use utilizing biomass gasification to make the world a better place for all living species, come talk to me. Thank you.